Hey guys, my name is Nass Whitson. I'm here at CrossFit Soar, and today we're going to be talking about part three to the butterfly progression. But first, we're going to review what we talked about in the first two videos. In video number one, we talked about the beat swing and creating a large kip. It's going to look something like this. Okay. The second part to that first video was doing a beat swing, beat swing, circle, drop halfway. Kind of like this. And you worked on dropping straight down, okay? Now we're gonna transition into video number two. I have my friend, Eric, here. In video number two, we had a prop, okay? A lot of times we say, beat swing, beat swing, cir circle drop, close. But instead of using that closed cue, we wanna use the map. It's gonna look like this. Kick. <laughs> so, we did beat swing, beat swing, circle, drop, kick, okay? In this video, video we're gonna link it all together, all right? So it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so just a couple things. There's so many cues out there. So which one do you use? You can use the mat, all right? Uh, another cue that I like to use is uh, kicking my feet out in front. At this point, you have to work on being a little more patient. This is what it's gonna look like. So essentially, I'm clapping my feet out in front of me, all right? It's gonna look something like this. So when you get a chance, practice these movements, and just make sure before you do the butterfly progressions that you can do some strict pull-ups. Uh, we normally recommend about five, okay? Best of luck and uh, good luck in the open.